welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Today we're going to focus on deamination. When proteins are eaten and digested, a lot of amino acids are produced. Sometimes the amino acids are produced in excess. Anything that is produced in excess within the body, the body will get rid of it to maintain homeostasis. The liver plays an integral role in removing excess amino acids in the form of urea. Let us give a definition for deamination. Deamination is a process by which excess amino acids are converted to urea. Very important for you to note that it takes place in the liver and is aided by enzymes known as deaminases. For you to truly understand the process of deamination, I need to illustrate something. Amino acids, they have three parts. There is a carboxyl group, which is the acidic part of the amino acid, and there is a R group. The R group is a carbon chain. And there is an amino group, which is the very important part for this lesson. So let's think about the word deamination. So within the word deamination, the part that D refers to the removal. So what are you removing is an amino group. So once the amino group is being removed, it is essential to start the process of deamination. The remaining portion of the amino acid will be used to make energy. Now let's look at the process. So when there is an excess amount of amino acids within the body, the amino acids will be broken down into two parts. Remember, one part will be the amino group, the other part will be used to make energy, but first that part is converted to carbohydrate in the form of glycogen. Now let's focus on what will happen to glycogen. Glycogen will be stored in the liver and when the body requires glucose, the glycogen will be converted to glucose. The glucose can be used to produce energy within the cells. And for you to note that glucose and glycogen, they are carbohydrates. Glycogen is a polysaccharide, while glucose is a monosaccharide. Now let's focus on what will happen to the amino group. The amino group will be converted to ammonia. Ammonia is very poisonous. However, the body will get rid of it by reacting ammonia with carbon dioxide. Once this reaction is completed, the product will be urea, which is less poisonous. The urea can now be excreted from the body. Now let us look at this in a different way. So within the liver, when there's an excess amount of amino acids, from the amino acids, amino group will be removed and then converted to ammonia, which is poisonous. It turns out to be that two molecules of ammonia will react with carbon dioxide to produce urea and water. Just to make a note that the formula for urea can also be represented as this structural means. Urea and water will then be sent to the kidneys where they will be removed in the form of urine. And now we are at the end of a short lesson. And so I am hoping to see you in the other lesson. Stay safe.